Hey everybody, Mr. Hubbard here, one of the science specialists in Newport Mesa, and I'm trying to put together the most comprehensive tutorial I can on accessing Schoology and having some connection issues and getting through accounts and profiles and things like that to help you better access um, Zooms and Schoology for your science teachers and any other teachers that are using it. As I said, this is going to be comprehensive and it might get a little bit long. I'm going to put some links in the description to skip forward and some descriptions of different parts of the video so if you know exactly where you want to go you will be able to skip by checking in the description if you're watching this directly on YouTube. If you're not watching this directly on YouTube and you want to there should be an option if you click on the video screen that you can take it it'll take you to YouTube so you can access those links. Okay so getting started here one of the first things that we've noticed has been a problem with students and with connectivity and getting into science things is this idea of our profiles and students not being accessed in on their NMUSD profiles. So this is my NMUSD profile here, but you can tell I'm not signed in. So this would be a challenge because it's showing me that the picture right here in this upper right hand corner is the picture I'm looking for that would tell me I'm on the right profile, but I'm not currently signed in. So if I come through and I can sign in, it'll ask me to sign in with Chrome, and I can do that. And now I've been authenticated as an NMUSD user. I know a lot of students um, are switching accounts either on their own Chromebook to access their personal emails, or if you're using a shared device in your home, one or two computers amongst multiple people, there might be many different profiles. So here's my personal profile that I might use. Uh, this is Mrs. Hubbard's profile that she might use. Um, so we have a few different profiles on there. And so it's important to make sure that you're on the right NMUSD profile um, and that we're understanding that we can switch them if we need to. The next thing that has been a challenge are these NMUSD bookmarks. Some students are seeing these bookmarks in their Chrome browser and some are not. And this is another indication that you might not be signed in to your uh, NMUSD profile correctly. If you are signed into your profile correctly, it says that you're signed in. There's no cues here to sign in. Okay. It might be that your sync is off. There's a prompt right here. It might prompt you to say, turn sync on. You definitely want to turn sync on because then that will mean that anything that the, that the school district pushes out to students in the bookmarks bar will also show up on their profile on any device that they're using. So it doesn't just have to be on a Chromebook. It could be on any device, an Apple, a PC, whatever. As long as our sync is on and has synced, then you should be able to see these NMUSD bookmarks. Now, of course, the students will see NMUSD student bookmarks. I'm a teacher, so mine says staff. There's one other option if you are logged in properly and sync is on, but you still don't see this bookmarks there's a possibility that your bookmarks are hidden in general. So if you come up here into the upper right hand corner where we have the three dots and we click here and we go to bookmarks, my bookmarks tab or bar is being shown. If this isn't checked for you, make sure you check it. This should bring your bookmarks bar up. It should show you those NMUSD bookmarks and then you'll be good to go. The bookmarks are really the best way to start going to any of the various places that you want to go as a student. Again, my staff bookmarks are going to look a little different than the student bookmarks because I have different access to different things. But when you click on the tab, this drop down appears and we can see all of the various district bookmarks that have been shared to either staff or to students. Again, this is really the easiest way to access all of these different programs. They'll take you directly to the site and if you need to authenticate or sign in on those individual sites, it will prompt you to do that immediately, as opposed to using some other direct link that might bypass that authentication process and will cause problems in what we're viewing or in what we can access. And then that's ultimately what's leading to many of the frustrations of not being able to either get into your specialist or your science things or see what you're supposed to be seeing. For instance, if I go to Zoom right now, I'm not authenticated in Zoom. So it's actually prompting me, even though I'm authenticated as a user here in, in Google, I'm not authenticated 
in Zoom. So I would come down, I would click sign in with Google to authenticate myself, and then it pulls up and you can see all of my various meetings that are upcoming as my schedule is shown here on the screen. So now before I head straight to Schoology, I do want to say um, you're going to be seeing things both as a teacher and a student and I'm going to be trying my best to show you exactly when you're seeing things like a teacher would see it and when you're seeing like a student would see it. Of course the teacher view is going to be a little bit overwhelming because it's going to show everything the teacher sees and students you don't need to see everything that the teacher is seeing. So again we're going to use our staff bookmarks and I'm going to come down here I'm going to find Schoology and I'm going to go straight to Schoology. Now everyone in Newport Mesa has a Schoology account. It's been set up for you by the school district. This is asking me to choose an account to sign in with because again even though I was authenticated through Google, I am not authenticated through Schoology yet. So important to select the correct profile that I want to use. I'm not given the option of a different profile. So I'm selecting my own NMUSD profile. And it takes me in here to Schoology. Now, again, this is going to look a little bit different for everyone because what you're seeing is going to be different. Um, right now, I am in Mrs. Harmon's class as a student. So what it is is showing um, the way it would look to a student that was also in Mrs. Harmon's demo class for science. Now one of the first places you're going to want to start is right here in this tab that says courses. And we're going to hit this drop down and it's going to show you all of the courses that you are enrolled in or that you have access to. All of the kinder, first, second, and third grade students that actually come to me, to Mr. Hubbard, have already been enrolled and you should see this science banner in your courses already. If you're a fourth, fifth, or sixth grader in my classes, I did not enroll you myself. I gave you a code so that you could enroll yourself. If you don't see a science course in your courses, contact your science specialist to find out if you have to add yourself or if they need to add you. If you need to add yourself, you are one of Mr. Hubbard's fourth, fifth, or sixth graders you're going to come right here where it says my courses. And you're going to click on my courses. Right here, yours will say join a course. Mine says create because I'm a teacher. You're not going to look at this. This is what you want. You're going to hit join a course. And when you click join a course, it's going to open up a dialog box right there in the middle. And it's going to ask you for an access code. I've given all the students that need to join a course with me the access code you need to paste in here. So copy it from the document I sent to you or that your teachers sent to you and paste that access code in here. Select join and you will be added to the class. Then when you click on courses again, you should see this science banner for Mr. Hubbard or whatever the banner is for your science teacher. So now, I've joined Mrs. Kissaberth's sixth grade class. I'm now viewing as a student. And as a student, one of the first things that I need to do is come to this tab here that says resources. This is very important. All grades, every student needs to do this. Go to resources. And under resources, you want to look for this tab here on the left that says apps. If I click on apps, it shows me different e resource apps that I can connect. You can see here that I am selecting Google Drive resource app and that it's asking if I want to link my Schoology with my Google Drive resources. I want to approve this. I definitely want to add this. If I do not hit approve, I will not be able to access the course materials and complete any of the assignments that I need to do for science. So I'm going to hit approve. It's going to filter through. It's going to take the time to populate all of my Google Drive folders, lessons, and things that I've accessed recently. And now I have a connection between Schoology and Google Drive. So I can go back to my course for Mrs. Kissaberth in sixth grade. I can click on assignments and the My Scientist profile. This is our first assignment for the week for everyone. Kinder, first, second, and third graders, you have until September 11th to complete this. 
fourth, fifth, and sixth graders, you have until September 4th to complete this. We understand that there have been a lot of connection and technology struggles, so if you submit it late, it will not count against you. Now here in the My Scientist profile, actually let me go back, let me show you exactly how I got here again. So I click on My Scientist profile, and it shows me the assignment. Here's the description, tells me when it's due, tells me what to do. I want to click on My Document, and it should open up this document. It's taking a little bit of time, it's thinking a little bit. I deleted out some of the weight. Sometimes the weight gets a little bit arduous. But you can see here is the assignment that was given to the fourth, fifth, and sixth graders. And you can come through here. I can click on all of these links. I can type out any questions I have for the teacher, or I can say that I have no questions at this time. I can add it right into this document and complete my assignment. Very, very important. When you are done with your assignment, you've gone through this assignment, you've inserted your pictures, you've written in all of your answers. It's very important that we click Submit Assignment. If you don't submit it, it doesn't get turned in. We can't give you a grade. So make sure that you submit your assignment when you are complete. Also, as a quick side note for parents, the science specialist designed all of the lessons to have tutorials for things that and skills that the, we're not sure the students have. For instance, this particular assignment asks the students to take a picture and insert it of themselves so that we can see who they are. If your student doesn't know how to do that, we can click on these tutorial links here and we'll be taken to a tutorial that will show them exactly how to take and insert and resize, crop, rotate, whatever, a picture so that it comes into this box and it looks the way that they want it to look. So skipping ahead, we'll come down here and I'll give myself a one on this grading rubric because I did not complete my own assignment. And I'm going to hit submit. When you do this, it asks you, are you sure you want to submit? You either have to say yes or no, I want to keep working. And I'm going to hit submit and say yes. And this is now zipped off to Mrs. Kisseberth so that she can grade the assignment. My assignment is still here. I can unsubmit it if I want. If after I've submitted it, I think, oh, I've made a mistake, I want to unsubmit myself, I can. My assignment has not yet been graded. I can also come back and check in this assignment later and see if there was a grade that was given and any comments that were given. All right, so I know this is a YouTube video and I know we can rewind and rewatch any of this that we want whenever we want. But I did want to show it to you one more time, but this time as I was doing it, I wanted to show you exactly how to sign into a course because I didn't show you that the first time. So you're going to come here to my courses just like we did before and we're going to click on join a course and that dialog box comes back up. Now I have gotten a course ID from Mrs. Harmon and so I'm going to insert her code here. I've blurred it out so that you don't accidentally use her code and join her class by mistake and I'm going to hit join. I've been successfully added to the course and if I come up here to my courses I can see that kindergarten science at Woodland in California has now come up. So if I click on this I can see that I am welcomed to Mrs. Harmon's class. I can see that she has made an announcement and I can scroll down here to lesson one my scientist profile. Before I click on the lesson my scientist profile don't forget we need to go to resources. This is how we link our accounts and over here to apps and my Google Drive resource app has already been added because I added it for that first class that I saw, showed you with Mrs. Kissaberth. So I only need to do this one time forever. So now I've come back to the My Scientist profile. I can click on this lesson. I see the description that Mrs. Harmon has left and I can click on my document and it will open up. Now every once in a while we get a student that gets to this screen and instead of the document loading up they see another prompt to connect the Google Drive account. Right. So if you get asked again to give access to your Google Drive say yes give it access. It's not super common but we have heard it happening. Again, I can come through, I can fill out all of this assignment and do all of these activities for Mrs. Harmon. I can tell Mrs. Harmon that I want to learn about dinosaurs and raging volcanoes and chemistry.
Then after I've evaluated myself, because I only did one page, I didn't do very well, I can submit my assignment. I do want to say yes, I submit my assignment, and it zips off to Mrs. Harmon so that she can grade me. Very, very important. Make sure that you submit your work before the due date. So again, thank you so much for taking the time to view the tutorial, and hopefully it helped you get through some of the challenges you were having either with Zoom or Schoology and accessing your science materials so that you can work on your science lessons. Speaking for all the science specialists, we can't wait to see you guys in our next Zoom classes. And of course, if you have any other questions or concerns, please feel free to contact us, but we can't wait to see you next time. Bye.